Like nothing's bothering her, man. I was thinking the same. I was thinking one to go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to win it. I can win this. We're not to. After a while, we started talking to each other and then we just both realised, you know what, we're going to be here for the rest of the night. Game had to get stopped. I was a bit banged up, but you know, um, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm here. I'm gonna go and lie down in camp and see how I feel tomorrow. And we can tell you that Simon spent the night back in camp and is feeling much better this morning. Good. And after all that, Simon and Carly now have both won immunity from the first vote off. Uh, time for a quick break, but. <laughs> Sorry. But when we come back, <laughs> we'll, be <laughs> back fish. we'll be heading into camp. <laughs> Plus, there's all of this. Coming up, David's plotting. I think we should throw time bombing. You want to throw a spanner in the works, do you? And Nicola's had enough. I mean, I really don't like Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. The phone lines are now closed. Please don't call in as your vote won't count, but you may still be charged. We're on our way into camp to reveal the result of your vote to see who's doing the next Bush Tucker trial. But first, back to last night's dinner. David had only managed five stars in the trial, so what was on the menu and how far would it go? Here it is. Oh, look how little the bag is. Oh, no. There's nothing, is it? It's going to be like one mango or something. One mango. It is. There's only five rations, remember? Yes, I know. Uh, Go open your bag, Dave. Let's have a look, David. Come on, David, you want this. Come and see what you got. OK. In your tucker bag tonight is an octopus and a selection of potatoes, wild beetroot and leafy greens. Right, it's stir-fry. <laughs> Again. Stir-fry. Baby octopus. Well done, David, OK, mate. excuse us. Cooks are in order. I know, it's only five meals. But in actual fact, they've still been very friendly about it. Most of them have been very friendly about it. And uh, actually, I think there's going to be enough to go around, to be honest. So what are you looking like, Mick? Yeah, it's just not a lot, but we can do it. if it is easier to leave someone out, leave me out. Let's not everyone get silly, I was just yeah, being let's honest. Not all get... I was just being honest, you asked me how it looked, I said it was, um, there's not a lot, but it's not a problem, I'm just saying. I might get go up for a try and get nothing, it's the luck of the day, so I'm not being rude, I'm just saying. Can we eat the leaves, like a lot of food. Danny? Um, I don't know, but right now, can we just get on with it and then we can Might. we can give all leftovers. We put them all in like a little Might. thing and if anyone wants to snack on leftovers, then that's what we usually that. do. Okay. Yeah. Timmy was like hovering over tonight saying, what do you do with that? And, uh, and I was like, Timmy, do you mind not watching? We've got an audience. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. Are we putting you off? Um, a little bit, actually, yeah, because I feel like I've got, I'm, I'm getting watched what I'm doing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't mean it, I don't mean it like personally, but I just... It's sort of like pressure, isn't it? How are you, David? How's your day progressing, panning out? A bit better? Yeah, it's still a bit awkward. Oh, I feel a bit better these days now. That's Say lovely. Again? Yeah, a bit better. It's a bit better. Yeah. I think it's quite good, the food, isn't it? You've done really well. You know, considering what David had to go through, we were happy. I mean, obviously, we would have liked more stars, but the meal seems pretty substantial. And I think Danny was quite happy that she didn't have to cut two octopi rather than just one. Thank you, Danny. Visually, it's wonderful. I and like the way you get visually. all the credit every day. No, Nicola cooked just as much as I do. Yeah. Nicola, thank you. You're welcome. Delicious. The octopus is a little chewy. I quite like chewy food. I go screw my dinner. Look, I've got a screw in my dinner. Oh, God. Could have broken my teeth on this screw. Well, you better send it back and better complain to the... Uh... So, David, you've been screwed, mate. I've been screwed. Funny, isn't it? What happened? Is it from your plate? No, it's not, it's not from the, the plate. Apparatus. It's not from the apparatus, no. Oh. Got into the cooking somehow. Oh. Oh. Look what I've got. It's a screw. I could have done some... Right Damage on my teeth with that. Souvenir, anyway. I've found a screw in my dinner tonight. I mean, I'm not saying she did it on purpose, but shows a lack of 
whatever you want to call it, cleanliness or something. Either way, that is not suitable. I think we should throw time bombing. You want to throw a spanner in the works, do you? Let's have a vote on who should cook. No, <laughs> We've got two gay guys here. I'm sure they can cook. Yeah? They're usually pretty good at cooking. I just don't like David. I just don't. I'm sorry. And as I've said, if I'm wrong about him, then I will happily apologise. But I just don't gel with him. I just don't like him. I mean, I really don't like him. I've always found people who are different from other people very interesting. Yeah. When I see him sort of waxing his hair, I find it quite charming and funny. You know what I mean? Does it not annoy you? I'd rather have people who did that than all of us to be like you or me. I just have to look at him and I feel angry. <laughs> That's fine. He just has to speak and I think, shut up. It annoys me that much and I think, oh, Nicola. But that's me. Mm, I'll have to keep an eye on that one, I reckon. Mm. Oh, we're going ahead in the count now to announce who's doing their next trial. Off we go. It's day nine, yeah? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? Good. 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 Nice to see, <laughs> nice to like see that, you all. Uh, the public have been voting all morning for who they want to see face. Critter Chaos. The results are in. Simon, you ruled out of this one. Uh, but the results are in for the rest of you. Here they are. So, in no particular order, Danny. The public have decided. It's not you. <laughs> Joe. Yes. They have decided it's not you. <laughs> Esther. Yes. yes. There you are. They've decided. Yes. It's not you. Carly. They've decided it's not you. Timmy. Who are these? They've decided it might be you. Oh. What a mallet. Martina, they've decided it's not you. George, it's not you. Okay. Brian, it's not you. Oh. Robert, hello. Hello there. How are you? This I'm very morning. good. No grubs on you this morning? No. Good. And it's not going to be you today. Oh, thank oh. you. David, <laughs> well done yesterday. The public liked it so much, they've decided. It's not you. <laughs> so that means Nicola, it might be you. It's between Timmy and Nicola. The, pu the public, the person want to see face critter chaos is Timmy. Hey, Timmy, Tim, Tim. we'll see you at the Bush Tucker trial area later on. <laughs> see you later, have a good day. See you later. Well done, Timmy. Well done, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Timmy. <laughs> well done, Timmy. <laughs> anything more than five. <laughs> How did you want to do you want to <laughs> you utter nutters. That's all we've got time for. Mark Durden Smith and Matt and Emma Willis are waiting for you on ITV2, though, with Get Me Out of Here Now. And we'll be back tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. See you then. Bye bye. Get highlight clips, jungle news, and gossip, interviews, plus a whole lot more on your mobile. Text Celeb to 83339 to make sure you don't miss a thing. Cost is two standard network rate messages. Your mobile network operator may charge you premium rate costs for using internet and WAP services. Coming up, the votes have been counted. Who will make it through to the next round? And who will be going home? X Factor The Result is next.